The next tool I would like to present to you is Quizlet. Last year I quickly spoke about Quizlet when I presented the paper on the uh, Maritime English MOOC, but here is a more detailed description of that tool. So if you log on to Quizlet.com, so Quizlet.com, uh, you must create an account or you can log in by uh, using your uh, Google account. Once you've logged in, uh, you'll have your uh, decks of uh, cards appearing on this page. If you have, if, if this is the first time you log on to Quizlet, uh, then you'll have none. If you want to create a new set of cards, you simply click here, create a study set. So you click onto it, you give it a title and a description, like this. You save, then you choose a language. There are a variety of languages to choose from. There are really many languages to choose from. And this is important because if you want to have audio enabled, uh, you need to, to select this uh, correctly. Otherwise, it will mis mispronounce. Same thing if you are going to use a, a special set of accents, for example, uh, like in French or in Spanish, well then you, you, you need to select the correct language. And then this is the main window and on the main window you type in a question and its answer or a word and its definition or a word in one language and a word in another language or whatever. On each uh, side of the card you can also add media. You can add pictures and you can add audio as well. Creating a, a deck of cards for the purpose of this demonstration would, would be too long, so I'll simply show you a deck of cards I already have. Right, uh, for example, let's look at ship types. So this is my deck of cards on which there is a word and, or sorry, a ship type and its definition on the other side of the card. I've put no pictures in that. So you have various uh, types of games available to you and this is what the students get as well when they connect onto the website. First they have the flashcards. So a flashcard is simply the definition on one side, you click to flip and you get the answer or you can do it the contrary. You have the word first and you must say the definition to yourself, flip to check if you're right or if you're wrong. So these are simple flashcards. It can start with the term, the definition, or uh, with both both sides, one or the other. You can have audio enabled so that it will pronounce whatever appears on the card, whether it is the definition or the word. Then you click on the arrow to flip to the next card until you reach the end of the deck of cards. The second game you have to learn is here by pressing on the learn button. You have the definition here. You must type the answer this time or you can press the don't know button and if you do it will give you the answer and make you type it. If you get it incorrect you, uh, the word goes into the red box. If you get it correct it goes into the green box and once uh, you've, you've finished it tells you which words you know, which words you don't know and gives you an opportunity to uh, go through the ones you, you missed again. The speller game is a bit similar except uh, it will present the words to you and make you earn two tokens. Once you've heard two tokens and the same word it is considered known and it will move on to other words or present you that word more rarely. Test is a automatically generated test created from the data on the the decks of cards. You have nothing else to do and it creates uh, exercises that can be uh, 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 open questions where you have to type in the answer. It can be matching questions. It can be multiple choice questions and it can be true-false. I insist you have nothing else to do. Every time you press on test it generates a new test. And then to finish, you have two games. One is a matching game. It's called Scatter. 
you must take each word and put it onto the uh, uh, corresponding definition for example like that like that and when they disappear the uh, uh, clock stops, you're racing against yourself but also against all, all other members of the class. And finally, the race game is a typing game. You must type the answer to that definition. You must type in the answers as quickly as you can. When you miss, you lose a life and uh, you are asked to type the correct answer like that and the game continues. Now the extra good news about Quizlet is that an app is now available uh, uh, for smartphones and tablets and that uh, if you use other uh, f uh, flashcard software like uh, Google's G Flash Pro for example you can import the decks you've created in Quizlet into uh, G Flash Pro.